All right, stop number one. We are grabbing a quick bite to eat. The old pickle. At the pickle. Finn's got his house strapped. I got my house strapped. How, how far do we have to go? A couple hours? Hour and a half. Hopefully we can get his laptop. All right, we got about two hours to go until we reach our destination. We had some chicken fingers, some tater tots. We're feeling hydrated and fueled ready to fish. <laughs> what do you need your coat on for, son? I got gloves, but I ain't got, I didn't go put my fluffy pants on like this. Dude, I'm so hyped. I hope we catch some. I hope we do too, dude. This is gnarly. <laughs> my friends are better than your friends. That's the reason we're out on the lake today. Tell me about the plow coming out here. 10 feet at a time, man. <laughs> concrete out here how much snow is on the freaking lake do you think like after a full accumulation of winter probably i'd say there's not three feet but <sighs> i'd say there's 30 inches so you're just boom going yeah. 30 yards 20 yards yeah. boom 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 every once in a while you hit a spot where you go but oh my gosh i can't thank you enough <laughs> gotcha well you want to hear a story yeah <laughs> oh. i had i had three mud flaps on my truck coming out here i now have one put it at that <laughs> it's a hoot Let's freaking tear it down tonight, brother. Man, you got an ice scoop? Yeah. Did you drill your holes ready? What? Did you drill already? Dude, so right now I have the table up, but we can put the table down so it's like a big couch so we can sit back farther. That might be better with the bigger eyes. Yeah. We're getting things situated here. And Sammy's in the corner. What do we got? Oh, Come it on. It ain't a bad one. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that baby? God, I love birding so much. <laughs> We're sitting down on a spot. You haven't fished this for two years? Yeah. Or even last year, maybe fish a little. Yeah, last year. Couldn't get to the spot I wanted to and had to make a, a little plan B. I would say that's not a bad sign. Not a bad not start. A bad sign at all. Not a bad start. Oh, give me three names you have for this species right here. Burbit, eel pout, wing. Uh, Pretty sure that was three. That I can't count real well. Grease. Grease. Yes. Can't wait to hear this story. Get up here, beautiful girl. Dark one. Dark one. Dark one. Oh, he's outside. Sobey's cleaning. And I just turned the camera off, of course. That's when it goes down. Another delicious, greasy bourbon. <sighs> I love when you slap their tummy. Dude, it's the best. Like, how can you not? How can you not love them? Look at the tentacles on the back end. Let me see their whiskers on the back end. Oh. Oh. My They're so pretty. If you haven't tried the elusive burbot before and you enjoy eating fish, oh, which I actually goodness. have. Marking? I've never eaten burbot. It's. It's one of the best fish, fresh water, that you can eat, 100%. How do you make your burp? Do you, do you boil it? I've done the boil thing. Um, big fan of just, like, pan frying it like normal. Like, Cajun Shore Lunch. Yeah. No way. Yep. Get him, Sam. Dude, I got one bit of water. Yeah, this one ain't very big, but it's a decent one. I literally put this sweatshirt on <laughs> 30 <laughs> seconds ago. 
flip down there and there's this big suspended mark. I marked this fish first. <laughs> no, I did on the bottom. <laughs> was it and suspended? It followed all the way up. Yeah, there's three of them. She's getting a little doggy. She's getting doggy. Oh, God. I think that's when the spoon kind of outdoes the jig when they're suspended yeah. and they're not directly locked on because it has a little bit more movement. That's right here. Dude, that thing's got to be nice. Yeah, dude. It's kind of like a rammy on you. One thing I don't like is those oh, three. I feel like it's a nice fish. Yeah, it is good. Those three yes, trebles, dude. I don't yes, like dude. when they get right next to the ice. Yes, dude. It's an ice fish. That's a good one. Oh, oh yeah, yes, buddy. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. That's a good one. Oh, 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 it's a right on the bottom lip, too. Dude, that's a nice one. Suspended. Oh, come on. I literally put this hoodie on. You just said, let's get some ago, luck. Look down at the graph, and oh. there was a big suspended mark. Sam actually was marking the other one with it. Reeled up real fast, dropped a little 5 eighths right in front of its face, and just got crushed. Oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful they are up here, the yeah. leopard pattern. That's a good one. That's a, that's a thick one. In some river systems, or even like Lake of the Woods, it seems like those fish are, they're kind of pale. Yeah, they're kind of weird looking. I mean, we're really lucky around the Bemidji area and even down closer to Brainerd they have like the super leopard pattern kind of what they're oh. what they're known for but let's get yeah, some pictures of that one. bad boy that's a good one. give me some of that son uh-huh wow yeah that's a that's a grown one as Sam was saying earlier like those little two or three pounders are great to keep um big females like this they're moving up to spawn right now as you can see, there's a couple eggs in there. Kind of built like me. This big mama is going back down the hole and hopefully catch her again. Gorgeous that's fish, a dude. That's, that's a dang that's a, big. That's a grown one. Oh, gracious as always. Hard water, baby. It's kind of like all sorts of fishing. When you guys are in like a confined area, everyone using the same thing. Oh, she's a little greasy. Everyone using the exact same bait is kind of redundant. Um, so those two have the pout pounder jigs on. I have the small little five eighths um, jig from Big Nasty. A little spice added to her. Mm -hmm. Little VMC bladed treble. More than anything, these treble hooks are just super sharp, so it helps hook it up, but it's nice to switch it up every now and then. This is more finesse -y, I would guess, if you can even consider pout fishing finesse -y at all, but yeah, this has been a go-to bait for me for a long time when guys are using the bigger stuff, so. So Sam, you caught your fish right off bottom. You've been pounding bottom, and did you mark that fish up high? It started off the bottom, I brought him up, then he left. And I don't know if it was the same fish or different fish, but then three more came in, probably about eight feet off, probably. So right now, our layout's like this. We got Sam here, Brent here. Brent's actually jigging this hole far away. What are you using for rod? Uh, Elliot Greenback, 42 inch heavy. It's kind of nice to actually be able to be farther away from the hole. And to be honest, I'm a bass guy at heart. So hook sets are, <laughs> hook sets are life, man. Wham! I brought my Siskoet, Elliot Rod Siskoet. It's like a big laker rod. Basically, it's like we're using straight braid to either gumball type jigs or that spoon, and we can just jack them. So Brent's leaning into them. Well, well, well. Look what we woke up to. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. It's an absolute beauty. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, oh, other rattle rail going out. Okay, we're gonna let him go, we'll see you. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh, won't you be my neighbor? Oh, hello, neighbor. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Let's see what the boys are. Good morning, neighbor. Oh <laughs> Dude, I just lost her at the hole. Really? On the rattle wheel? How's your sleep? Oh, 
So you lost it? Do you think it was a walleye? I don't know. It's been negative 100 every day, so yeah. Through a full mambo, I kind of got pee. All right, on the menu this morning, we have some home-cooked Jimmy Dean um, breakfast sandwiches right from the package right from the package uh, and these are real simple to make here folks uh, it's just you throw them in the microwave except we don't have a microwave we got an oven <laughs> so we're, we're ad-libbing a little bit we're but. thinking you know we'll just kind of flip the buns after a while they're all pretty well frozen from being out in negative 10 so yeah we're just we're gonna give her the onions <laughs> this is our test run we've got four more if this just goes downhill quick Okay, top shelf for the win. <laughs> All right, here's what we're working with. We gave her a little broil action. Not sure if they're cooked on the inside, but we'll find that out later. You wanna give her the onions out the gate? I'm gonna want a five star review here. Uh huh. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Yep. Yeah, that had some crunch. Cooked on the inside. It is. Nice. That's a great success. A great success. <laughs> Actually, not too pretty bad. Nice. Let's tear them down. Nothing like some OJ after breakfast. Mm -hmm. Cheers. 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 Orange juice. Oh, that's straight orange juice on the top. Mm -hmm. That's tasty, dude. It's actually more good. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a little bit of cleaning. We got I think like two bourbon in there, a couple of walleyes. Let's get it on. So you take out, like you basically cut like yeah. about halfway down and you take out like the back strap. So you cut around this, go about halfway down and then you just walk this line with your... She is windy. Windy, windy, windy. Time for a little snack, some top the tater. That is frozen. Wow. Maybe some boneless chicken bites. Okay, time check is four o'clock. We had a nice nap, did we not? That was a nice nap. We just kind of cozied up here. It's it's windy out, eh? It is extremely windy. It sounds like everything is whistling outside. So trying to fall asleep to the, <laughs> the calming noise of a northern Minnesota 25 mile an hour gust is a little different, but yeah, it was a good nap. So what's the game plan right meow? 4.05. We're going to catch a burb by 5.15. Yes. One's going to move up, get a little sporty. We're going to catch one before the rest of the boys get back out here. And, uh, Potentially a bonus walleye too. It's yeah. the last weekend of walleye. We might do a little jig in here with Absolutely. some light spoons. We did catch some walleyes moving through yesterday, kind of all throughout the evening and through the night. So we'll uh, see what happens. Good morning. Good morning, neighbor. How was your nap? Uh, I feel like I got hit by a mini bus. That means you're doing it right. Yeah, I guess. Alrighty, it's about prime time. We're in the pin suites. We've got Leesburg Ice Road Trucker. <laughs> We've got Cole Pin. What, what's the setup here? We're going. So we're going, well, I got a rabbit roll down for walleyes, but that's, that'll be our outfit here soon. We're rocking the front hole, and then we're double pounding sand in the back hole. Nice. We got the mobile cam action here. We're just going to place her on the bench, and Leesburg and I are about to make dreams come true. Man, it's been a slow evening. It's 9 o'clock right now. Cole's jigging in the front. We got Leesburg right here, and uh, I actually swung and missed on this fish like twice. It was like... He was just kind of bonk, ba bonk, and I was I like, I don't know, I don't know. Leesburg thought he saw a mark, and then bonk. So I'm excited. Our first power of the evening, and this is what we needed: the dang skunk out of the boat. Look at him, chunker, chunker. He's a good little butterball. It's my first power of the year. So yeah, that's what we're here for. Slime time. Yeah. So Leesburg to my right's using a spoon. Cole's using a jig. Wild. We're yep. listening to the hockey game. And I'm just using a big old fat glow jig. We released that sucker down the hole. I brought it over to my house so Danny could see it. But yeah, 
We're just, we're pounding bottom, living on a prayer, and the skunk is out of the dang boat. Give me some of that, brother. So many oh. prayers. So many so prayers. prayers. So many prayers. <laughs> Oh my god. Damn. Nailed one. Woo! I'll play a fair ball. Yeah. No. Oh. No. Got no. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Got it. Damn it. Did. That's awesome. Yes. Sitting, there, right. sitting there talking shit. Let's go. Oh. 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 Danny, talk to me. Got him. Got him. How did it go down? Just happened. Your first burb. First one. Yeah. Let's see the tummy. Let's see the tummy on that butterball. Yes. Yes. Scared, Have you gotten pictures it. yet? You or no? You, you got gotta pictures? Kiss it. Gotta kiss it. A light kiss? Gotta kiss it. Oh, he's got oh. a mini middle head in his lips, though. So. Nice. Oh, <laughs> We're going to go get a couple pictures and we'll release it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of that. that oh. Nice. Got you, babe. Right off the bottom. Yeah, it is. It's a good one, dude. Come on, I'm alive. Let's go. He was just suckling it. That one feels good. Good up here, mama. I did not mark this fish. This is number two of the night for me. Uh, Danny caught one. We've only got three tonight. It's been slow, but look at that. He absolutely just crunched it. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> We're just pounding bottom, pounding bottom. I'm, this is like the only fishing you do where you really don't have to pay good attention to your backslider. You can just, you can kind of pound sand. And if you feel them slurp it up, give them the freaking onions. Man, just a single hook, big old fat glow jig, right to the snoot. Man. Oh, man. We're going to get a couple pictures, get them back. It could be a later bite tonight. What's our time check? Uh, 11 o'clock on the button. 11 o'clock. Oh. Yes, dude, yes. Oh. Yes, oh. It's on. It's on. He's right here. He's balled up. Get him right out of here. Here we go. <laughs> Pin's first burb of the night. So you didn't mark him either? No, not at all. How did it happen? He was just, just gummy? Pound and bottom, and he hammered it. <laughs> just a little guy. Just a beautiful burb. A little football. Baby just a little baby burb. He's so cute. <laughs> Alrighty, what's the time check? 3.20. 3.20 in the morning. We have jigged a long time. We haven't had any marks for like past couple hours. I think we're gonna hit the sack. Brent and Danny are in my shack. Cool. Me and Sam have bottom bunk. Cole's got top. Sam, talk to me. Talk to me about when's the best time to burb fish. As far as like at night, like per in the night or as in the year? In the year. It's like you can catch them starting at like beginning of February, nothing like crazy, but as soon as it hits like that first week of March, like February to like that first, second week of March is like, yeah. first, second week of March is like the prime time, Yeah. but you can catch them all through February. Yeah, well, apparently not as well tonight, but you can still catch them. All right, let's hit the sack. Water boy. All right, good night, and we'll see you in the morning.
He's blind in one eye. What's the current time? Dude, I don't even know. Cole, what time is it? 406. 406 in the morning. And you were jigging. And Finally got my first of the night. I mean, it ain't a bad one. And I think it's a sign that I'm not sleeping tonight. <sighs> Get that big, beautiful girl back. Awesome colors, dude. Blind in both eyes. Oh, slimy carpet. Go to your home. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> nice job, dude. dude. Heck yes. Let's go. Did okay. he just pop you or what? Dude, I was pounding it. I'd been, I swear I'd been marking something for the last, like, two minutes. And I, like, lifted up off bottom, and I just got a little flicker. I came up above it, and it just went boom. <clears throat> And then hammered it. <sighs> hey, Good morning. Morning. <laughs> Give us uh, the recap and the report last night. You and I, we went to bed and Sammy stayed up all night, literally all night. Yeah, so we crawled in the bed at like 3.45 and Sammy kind of turned the lights off, sat down, committed to it, and he literally caught one at... 405. A pretty fat one too. Like we were still awake. It was probably like seven pounds. And then we fell asleep and at like 5.30 or 6, I woke up to his drag going off and he lost one at the hole. Then he caught two northerns this morning and it was, I don't know, pretty quiet. So Sammy <laughs> topped it out for one burb. He did. <laughs> but Well, we head home today. It's been fun. It's been real. It's been really cool that we've been like the only people out here. And that's probably just due to like how thick the snow is. Once again, another huge shout out to our buddy Leesburg for plowing us this road. We didn't smash them, but dude, we had fun. Still caught burbs. Mm -hmm. And just like that, the trip is done. Um, it goes so fast. It seems like we just got here and now I'm hooking the fish house up and I'm heading back south, but we had an awesome time. I don't totally know what I captured on film, but the past two days with my pals out here have been unbelievable. Uh, these are some of my best pals, and I don't get to see them all the time. I see them a lot of times early ice or late ice or sometimes in the spring or summer or at big sports shows or events, but I gotta say huge shout out number one to Cole Pint for coming up here, bringing his permanent shack, hosting some of the other boys in his shack. Huge shout out to Leesburg for plowing this road behind us. Without him, we wouldn't be out here. We seriously, we won't be on the lake. There's I don't know how many inches of snow out here. There's slush. It's If he didn't plow the road, we wouldn't be here. Huge shout out to Brent Lopez for always hosting us, always being game to go on an adventure and just being one of my best pals and one of my longest pals I've ever had. And huge shout out to Sammy. Sammy's a burb king. He's only been fishing burbs for, I think, three or four years now, but he's so infatuated, so dedicated, and so passionate about these animals. So to come up here and chase him with Sam, it's great. It was great last year and it's great this year and we'll kind of continue to do it year in and year out. So thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end. I truly appreciate it. Uh, this is just trip number one for late ice. We've got a lot more winter camping to do. We've got a lot more fishing to do and uh, yeah, I'm excited. So make sure you check out all my pals. I'll link them down below, all their socials, all their different channels and make sure you go check out the hard water gear we just dropped. It'll probably sell it here pretty quick, but yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. And I guess there's nothing left to be said and stay tuned and as always, with the adventure begin. See you. Move ahead. Oh, my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Oh, my pretty babe.